हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर विजयलक्ष्मी बेरा सीनियर कंसल्टेंट ऑफ एन ऑफ चैतन्य हॉस्पिटल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव डिस्कशन ऑन एपनिया नाउ व्हाट इज एपनिया एपनिया इज व्हेन अ प्री बेबी पॉजेज ब्रीदिंग फॉर मोर देन ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स और पॉजेज ब्रीदिंग फॉर लेस देन फिफ्टीन सेकेंड्स बट हैज़ अ स्लो हार्ट रेट और लो ऑक्सीजन लेवल यूजली वेन बेबीज आर बॉर्न दे मस्ट ब्रीद कॉन्टीन्यूसली टू गेट ऑक्सीजन In a premature baby, the part of the central nervous system that controls breathing is not yet mature enough for non-stop breathing. This causes large bursts of breath followed by periods of shallow breathing or stoppage of breathing. It can occur due to various causes like anemia, electrolyte disturbances, infections, lung morbidities, cardiac problems, reflux episodes, IVH and prematurity. What happens in apnea of prematurity? Apnea of prematurity is fairly common in preemies and it usually goes away on its own as the baby matures. Generally, babies who are born at less than 35 weeks of gestation have periods when they stop breathing, their heart rates and oxygen level drops. These breathing abnormalities may begin after 2 days of life and last for up to 2 to 3 months after birth. Smaller and more premature babies are more prone to have apnea of prematurity. it usually ends on its own after a few weeks and usually resolves by 34 weeks but some babies may take up to 42 to 44 weeks to resolve once it goes away it usually doesn't come back but no doubt about it it's very frightening while it is happening and it is very frightening for parents although it's normal for all infants to have pauses in breathing and heart rates those with apnea of prematurity have drops in heart rate below 80 per minute this causes them to become pale bluish and they may also look limp and breathing may be noisy they will either start breathing again by themselves or they may need help to do so apnea of prematurity is different from periodic breathing which is also common in premature newborns periodic breathing is pause in breathing that lasts just a few seconds and is followed by several fast and shallow breaths how is apnea of prematurity treated most premature infants especially who are born less than 35 weeks of gestation will get medical care for apnea of prematurity in the hospitals in icu right after they are born many of these premature infants require help in breathing because their lungs are too immature to let them breathe on their own so apnea of prematurity can happen once a day or many times a day Doctors will closely watch your baby to make sure that apnea isn't due to any other condition as we have already discussed earlier. Now other treatment methods like medicines are also available for treatment of apnea. Many babies with apnea of prematurity are given oral or intravenous caffeine medicine to stimulate their breathing efforts. They these medications keep them alert and breath regularly monitoring breath is also important so babies are continuously monitored by our nursing staff and doctors and babies are attached to the monitor continuously for any signs of apnea an alarm sounds if there is a fall in a heart rate or saturation levels if the baby doesn't begin to breathe again within 15 seconds the nurse stimulates the baby by flicking the soles Most of the time the babies begin to breathe on its own or by stimulation but there are certain times when the baby is still not breathing even after stimulation in those cases they might need oxygen supplementation by handheld bag and mask the nurse or doctor will place the mask over the infant's face and use the bag to slowly pump a few breaths into the lungs So apnea of prematurity as we have already discussed usually ends on its own with time a healthy baby who is apnea free for a week will probably never have apnea of prematurity again aside from apnea of prematurity other complications with your premature baby may limit the time and interaction that you can have with your little one the nicu staffs are adequately trained to take care of your premature babies thank you